Hey there, welcome to our video showing FileHold's friendly user interface. My name is Chris, and I'll be your tour guide for our presentation. We're going to begin today using the FileHold desktop application, or FDA. When I start the FDA, I first need to sign in. This authentication identifies which documents or records I am allowed to access and what level of permission I have in the system. Now that I am logged in, let's do a tour around the screen. The FDA is meant to feel like a Windows environment with lots of open space, so new users are not overwhelmed by elements they don't need. If you've used Windows Explorer, you can navigate FileHold. In the upper right corner, we can see my name identifying the user currently logged in. Just below is a search bar. I can type in any value and have FileHold search engine bring back results from the text or metadata in my files. Below the search bar is my metadata and file property window, which lets me take a deeper dive into information stored about each document or record. Clicking that again will close the window to give me back some of my space on screen. Below there are some additional buttons. First is the document tray, where files can be gathered as needed. Next, there's the document viewer to preview image or word files. There's an undock button to move the viewer to its own window, which is extra handy if you have two monitors. Last, there's the batch jobs report for use with assembling images together using the optional level two viewer function. Check with our sales team for more information. Let's move over to the library on the left-hand side. FileHold uses the organizing concept of filing cabinets to help users who are more comfortable with paper adapt to quickly to electronic filing. Here we can see the different cabinets I've created in my library. When I open a cabinet, I will see drawers, just like a physical filing cabinet. When I select a drawer, I will see folders, and when I select the folder, the contents appear in my main screen. Cabinets, drawers, and folders are completely under your control, so you can have as many or as few as you need and are organized how your team prefers to work. Let's look at the documents or records in the main window. FileHold offers different ways to access the functions. You can see the buttons in the ribbon are mostly grayed out, but once I select a document, they come to life and let me know what I can do with this document. When I hover over the button, it tells me what it does. I could also right-click on the document and get access to the full menu. FileHold works the way you want to work. If you need more assistance, FileHold has help buttons throughout the page to take you to the knowledge base on the subject to give you more information about that function. Documents are defined by their use type, or schema, which you can configure. FileHold lets you create as many or as few schema as are useful for your organization. You can tag information or metadata to documents through the customizable schema. By using the metadata panel, we can see the information here related to our invoice schema. The invoice number, vendor, date, and total are stored as searchable, organized information for each invoice. It doesn't matter what program I use for the invoice, here's a PDF and here's a Word file, both classified as invoices by the schema. Version control is automatic in FileHold. When I add a document, it becomes version 1. Any changes needed are controlled by the checkout check-in process, which allows me to modify the original as a new version. The original is accessible in the background, but users will always see the current version first. Records are a classification in FileHold that prevent users from modifying content to preserve the information, so you don't have to worry about version control on these. Information on screen can be presented with the document schema in mind. By selecting a different view, I can see information related to my documents or records. These configurable views allow me to keep information in on screen or reorder information as needed. I can also group information to see common values. Any of these views can be exported as a CSV file for analysis or sharing with other users. FileHold offers access control as soon as the user logs in, based on the document schema and library location. What each user can see or do with the library depends on their role, which can be configured anywhere from read-only to administration, and this can change in different areas of the library. The user's permissions for a document is represented with at-a-glance information. This document has a green light, so when I select it, most of the buttons turn on. I have extensive rights to this. But this document is checked out, and so it has a red light. Version control prevents me from deleting it. Checking out a document lets other users know you are working on it. This does not prevent them from viewing the document, but they simply can't make any changes to it. FileHold has preserved it. This file has a gray dot. It's a record which FileHold protects. No one has the ability to check this document out or make further changes to it. If you want to view a document, I can double-click it. This will get a local copy and open it with the native application. So this PDF opens with Adobe Reader, whereas a doc would open with Word, a spreadsheet might open with Excel, whatever software you're using. Image or Word docs can also be accessed with the FileHold viewer. Every FileHold install comes with level 1 viewers for each user, which can be upgraded to allow for document assembly, markup, and even redaction for content. There are other functions here. 
I can link documents, assemble them, email them, use couriers that secure document delivery, or delete. I'm an administrator, so I'm allowed to delete documents. But for most users, this is an express permission with FileHold, so only authorized users will be able to delete documents. Let's have a quick tour of some of the other areas of the FDA. We won't have time to take a deep dive, but that's okay. We have lots of other videos that explore all of these elements. Let's start with the inbox. This is a staging area where users can pre-process documents and define their use type, metadata, and filing location. Next, My File Hold, shortcuts to your favorites, to documents you've checked out, or to what you've recently added to File Hold. Administrators can access a dashboard with high-level information about the system. As you can see, I could probably use more space in my repository. Next, Reviews and Approvals, part of FileHold's workflow module. This is a totally configurable feature and is easily our most popular add-on. If you're going to check out one other video today, please take a look at Workflow. It really is an organizational changing feature. Search is absolutely the best way to find information. You can start a simple search here for any word found in your document text or within the document's metadata, or up here in the search bar. Right-click any library location to a more focused search in the library. FileHold also offers save searches, both your own unique searches or common shared ones in the organizations, which you can click to run in a moment. We have several videos taking a deep dive on this powerful function, so please take a second to have a look. Virtual folders let you gather and link documents as needed. And below the library is your archive, where you can preserve and retain documents and records permanently. Nobody can delete from the archive, and nobody can change any content from there. Now let's step away from the desktop application and move over to the web client. I'm going to open my web browser. Here I'm using Firefox, and I need to log in to identify myself. The layout is similar to the FDA. I have my identity here. I have the same library structure, my file hold, workflow, search. I don't have to adapt to another layout. When I select a folder, I can see all the documents and records. I get the same color coding and symbols. It's all familiar. I get all the buttons, and I can right-click and take a deeper dive into the menu options. There are a few functional differences, as the web client is a thin client, but these are minor, and FileHold is continually working to bring parity between the two clients. There's also our mobile client, which is a highly simplified interface in HTML5. I need to log in and confirm my identity, and then we have a few functions. We can add documents, We can access a save search for documents. And we can complete any of our workflow tasks. This is ideal for users on the go who need minimal functionality, or for users more comfortable with a simplified interface. It will resize to fit your smartphone, tablet, or even your computer like I'm using here. The mobile client, the web client, and the desktop application are all standard features with FileHold. That's going to wrap up our presentation. For any more information, please check out our website at filehold.com. If you have any questions, please contact us at sales at filehold.com. And if you have a moment, there are lots of other FileHold videos on our YouTube page showing everything discussed here in much greater detail. From the FileHold team, we'd like to thank you for taking the time to review FileHold. Have a great day.